99 out the first part tunnel. Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today Scotland are back. It's the international break. Today we take on Russia. If we win, we're back on track for qualification. But it's a massive mountain to climb now. We need to beat Russia twice in order to get second. And tonight has to be the first time. Because I don't see Russia dropping any points to any other teams in the group bar Belgium. So we have to get our skates on and start picking up more three points because we've only got six out of the twelve possible so far. That 3-0 defeat in Kazakhstan humped us. Unless we can turn it around here. Anyway, it's about half past ten. I'm about to catch a train because I'm meeting some of the SYT boys uh, in Glasgow. We're having a sort of goodbye meal at Nando's because I'm uh, going to be moving out of Scotland. But uh, yes, let's catch a train. Mother Scotland! Right, predictions for a Scotland game. CJ, you go first. I'll go 3 1, Russia. Good. Div. I'm actually going to change my prediction. I'm going 1 0 to Scotland. Marius. 2 1 Scotland. Mark. 2 1 Scotland with a white one. Aye, and Marius. 2 1 as well. Alright, he's not going to copy. <laughs> Cheers, boys. English, that's why. <laughs> Predictions, Tom. What's your, what's your first Hamden prediction? 2 1 Scotland. Oh, Adam. I my prediction. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Twice in a row. Jamie, what are you saying? 1 0. What are you saying? No, no, no! Come on, come on! It's like 60 quid for two tickets here. It can't be no, no. Ten minutes till kick off now. Prediction: going to go with a 2-1 win for Scotland. I'm confident now. I feel the atmosphere. Really good. I don't know if we will do it. Well, win tonight will certainly help. His right foot, beautiful ball off the, the ball in to give the Scots.
he's got it into Golovin. Zuba! Nothing he could do about that. If... Artem Zuba of Zenit St. Petersburg just equalised for Russia. It was, it was coming. I mean, Russia have been all over us and we've not really done much since we scored. So, we're going to rectify that. Half time at Hampden Park, it's one each. We took the lead through, I think, Jeremy, the goalkeeper, dropped the ball and McGinn scored the rebound. It was a fantastic moment uh, just to see the whole Hampden Park erupt uh, like that. It was fantastic. And 1 0, created a couple more chances, but since the goal that we scored, Russia have been mainly sitting on most of the possession and every single ball is going through Artem Zuba uh, up front for them and the thing is whenever we get the ball we're moving it and it's going to McBurney or trying to, well it's just hitting off McBurney and he can't control the ball so it's the tail of the two strikers right now and Zuba is winning that battle right now um, he took his goal really well as well so what we really need to do is just calm down, sit on the play, get the ball on the deck and start playing football because that's the only way we're going to beat this lot because they are more split and uh, we just really need to shit who's our way through to get three points today. So yeah, counting on us, the result here, for the Scotland. That crucial goal in the last game against Cyprus. Golovin! Yeah, and they were in trouble here. Golovin with the cross. Zierk Stephen O'Donnell was there as well. Yuri Zerko, 2 1. Against the run of play, I think the last 5 10 minutes we've been coming back into it. You're right, Hen. <laughs> I remember my first breakup. <laughs> So I'm just back about a half an hour or so after watching the Scotland game. It wasn't the best, uh, let's just get that uh, said, but there will be a lot of people going about saying, oh, how shite are Scotland, etc, etc, which is the norm whenever Scotland get beat in a game of football. However, I want to touch on how good I thought Russia were, and they really could have put the game to bed a lot sooner uh, it could have been 4 or 5-1 to Russia. When the group was drawn, I think there was a lot of false hope, but I feel like, like even going into tonight's game, I didn't think we were going to get out much out of it until I actually got to the game because you're always engrossed in that atmosphere. But my realistic thought was we're going to lose this game to maybe 3-1. Uh, so I think the score is about right. Russia's got all the power in the world, you'd expect them to find at least a couple of half-decent footballers and, I mean, they still didn't use a couple of their best players. The fact that they can still win a game without the help of Denis Sheryshev, I respect that. Now it's looking very unlikely that Scotland are going to qualify for yet another uh, tournament, unless we go through via the playoffs, but... Yeah, I think I think the playoffs were always going to be our fallback anyway, because uh, I don't, I genuinely don't see us finishing above Russia or Belgium. The goal we scored, though, I thought we were quite fortunate. Uh, I think uh, Jeremy 
I think he was Brazilian, but converted to Russian. He spilt the ball and McGinn fired it in uh, to make it 1-0. But the, the two goals we conceded, the first goal we conceded, Zuba was allowed so much time to turn and shoot. I mean, this guy is basically a Russian Michael Higdon. He, he is just all power and he won everything in the air tonight and we just didn't have an answer to him. I like a forward like that that can actually hold up the ball, who can play it off to his wingers and genuinely I just think he was he's a great player. The second goal though, we, we were forward in attack and we just couldn't get back in time, Russia hit us in the break and again loosely marked players uh, got in on the ball. Golovin uh, will be claiming the goal but I think it might have been an O'Donnell own goal. But I'm not actually that fast. Uh, we we got beat anyway, and I thought we were well beaten. Uh, we were se we were definitely second best on the night. Another question is: Can we just please find a right back anywhere in the world that is of at least Scottish descent that is better than Stephen O'Donnell? I mean, every time the ball went down that right hand side tonight, it was getting shut down uh, and. We just had to play the ball back across the way. I mean, we lost the ball on the right hand side more than anyone else. I think we could do better. Like genuinely, when we made those subs, like just after two one, I wanted us to go three at the back and just see what happened because we've we've always played that traditional like four two three one rubbish. I mean, why wouldn't you go two up front at home? Oh wait. Because we don't even have two strikers in the team. We don't have two out-and-out -out strikers. Hopefully we can get something off Belgium. And, uh, I don't know, restore some pride. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like down below if you want more of this snazzy content. Subscribe if you're new. I'm Gogs89. Better wish you are. See you later, guys. Take care. I'm taking this off now. Bye-bye. <laughs>